Hello everybody, this is Postproduction Pi with SRLounge.com and in this Lightroom 4 preset system tutorial we're going to be going over preset number 32, Teal Orange Crush, in your stylized color category in the My Mixology folder in the Lightroom 4 preset system. Now, as usual, we're going to cover basically which situations we'd use this effect in. Uh, we're going to give you guys some before and after examples as well as teach you guys at the end of the tutorial how this was pulled off with just a few clicks using the Lightroom 4 preset system. So let's get started. Now, this teal orange crush, basically what it's designed to do um, is it's one of my favorite effects actually and the reason why I like it so much is it's designed to kind of mimic the popular teal orange uh, color scheming and the color grading that you see in Hollywood films. Now, why do they use teal orange? Well, because they're complementary colors. So orange, which is close to basically your, your skin tones, um, is, is kind of the color that's used in the highlights, while teal is used in the shadows. And because they're complementary colors, it creates a really nice kind of cohesive look to the, the overall color grading. So typically with films you're seeing like the use of uh, either complementary colors or analogous colors uh, in those color schemes. And this is what this preset is based on. So let's select it now and you'll see exactly what it does. What we're going to do is overall you see a lot of green right now and that's because this is underexposed. So because their skin is also underexposed it's falling into the green. So what we have to do right now is dial in our base adjustment and take it up about one stop and you'll see automatically that the skin bumps into the uh, kind of the highlight range which is more orange. So now our skin tones are orange and our shadows and background is black. Or sorry not black, uh, is teal. So let's go up and we're going to go to our basic adjustments. We're going to dial in a white balance uh, just to warm it up a titch and I'm going to take down my exposure just about 0.1 and that's great right there. Now I love using this effect on images that kind of have a very cinematic quality to them. Meaning I wouldn't apply these to like portraits of people just looking into the camera, but in images that look like they could be stills shot off of a movie set where they're, you know, the couple and, and your subjects are doing something that are, it's very storytelling in that format. This works great on, and you can see it in this image right here. But let's go to a couple other images and we'll show you what we mean by that. So let's see, I'm going to flip through my preset catalog and uh, let's find another one. I'm going to do this image. Alright, once again this image has a lot of cinematic quality to it um, and when we apply this effect you're going to see it kind of look almost like a still that was pulled from a movie. So we're going to apply the teal orange crush and then all I'm going to do is just straighten up the line so they're sitting on a perfect straight line. There we go. Okay, so we get that really nice kind of high contrast look. Um, we get some nice oranges on the skin and a very all, uh, a very much oversaturated kind of look to the image. Uh, and it looks really nice. It looks kind of like that, that film effect. And you'll kind of notice that as we're going through here, the the common thing that all these images have that we're applying this effect to is that the, the subjects aren't necessarily looking into the camera. They're more kind of like voyeuristic shots. You're shooting people kind of in uh, kind of like in their scene, in their environment type thing. And that's what kind of gives it that cinematic feel is that it's it's more of a storytelling type uh, situation. So for this shot, all we did was we just applied the effect. We uh, I just went in my base adjustments. I pulled it up. Uh, we can go between a half to a full stop up. I think I'll go a full stop up on this because I like it a little bit on the brighter side. And then I just warmed it up a tiny bit just for the skin tones. All right, so again, here's the before, here's the after. And this is also, you know, a really stylized look once again. And with stylized looks, they're not going to be for everybody, but we're kind of showing you guys when we would actually use these uh, looks in our images at which situations. Once again, we have another great kind of voyeuristic candid shot here, and it works really well with that teal orange look to it. So I'm going to brighten it up just a titch. And actually, we only need a tiny bit of brightening, so I'm going to go to my light right side and just dial it down just a titch to 0.3 up. Okay, let's go and see what else we got. Uh, let's find this image actually. I think this is actually the image that I, uh, in our one of our portfolio shots, and I actually use this exact setting for it with this teal orange look because it looks really great with it. And all you got to do basically is apply it and then just go and warm it up a bit for the skin tones. And then you get this nice kind of orange look on their skin. And I might even go up a little bit higher on that. You get this nice orange look on the skin um, and then you get this beautiful kind of teal toning in these shadows and stuff in the background. And with the orange mixture in here it looks really really nice. Um, again, let's see if there's some other images that we can apply this to. I think that should give you guys a pretty good example on when to use it. I don't think there's anything else. Actually there is one more. 
check out this image. This is another kind of like, you can kind of imagine this shot in like a movie uh, as they're kind of setting the scene and then they go and they cut close, you know, to some close-up shots of the couple as they're kind of interacting. Um, but this would, again, this effect works really well here. So let's apply the teal orange crush. And, uh, and we don't even really need to do anything to it. We can warm it up a bit. We can do whatever you guys want to kind of tweak the color tones. But I love it just with this kind of uh, orange teal color toning over highlights versus shadows. Alright guys, so that's kind of the different situations that we would use this preset in. So let's go over now how we actually created this preset. So let's select uh, our standard import preset because that's how we're going to start with a reset image just with the standard import preset applied. Alright guys, so let's go into our base adjustments and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop down to our blacks because that's the first thing we actually need to affect. And we're going to do a medium darken just to kind of pull down the blacks a little bit from that standard import. We're going to not do anything else except for do a little bit of light vignetting here. And then uh, we're going to revisit the saturation in a second. We don't need noise reduction or anything else here. We can go down to our neutral curves. We're going to add a ivory neutral punch to this. And then we are going to go down, just kind of because it's on the way down anyway, we're going to go down to our color toning. We're going to select our complementary orange teal color toning, which is new in the 1.1 update. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back up and we're going to go to our base adjustments and select reverse saturation. And what the reverse saturation does is it kind of, uh, it pulls down, the vibrance kind of goes down and the saturation goes up. And what that does is essentially it pulls down some of the tones while brightening, or not brightening, but saturating only the kind of more bright colors. All right, so we call it reverse saturation. Okay, so now if I close this out, if I go back up to my My Mixology and I click Teal Orange Crush, we should have the exact same look, which we do because we have mimicked that setting. So again, guys, four or five clicks and we've gotten there. All we're going to do from here now is just dial in uh, a white balance to kind of give us the tone that we want. I just want a little bit more yellows in the sky, so I'm just going to raise it up a bit. But anyway, if we wanted to save this out, we would go to our My Mixology, hit plus. Once again, we're going to hit check all. White balance is something we dial in on every image. Lens profile corrections, transform, and chromatic aberration are included with the standard import preset, so we don't need any of that. And then what we're going to do from here is dial in a name, put it under My Mixology, hit create. But of course, you guys are running version 1.1, and you already have it in the teal orange crush stylized color category. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. To check out all the before and afters, be sure to visit the article as well as our Facebook page where we post all the before and after images in the photo albums. Alright guys, we'll see you guys with the next Mixology video.